Guys, we live in the golden age of firearms. There are so many different choices out there, so many different preferences, many based on the exact same model. Just like your Glock, polymer striker fire pistol, there's a ton of different choices, but it allows you to get your preferences down. But on the other side of that, there are some real unique ideas in the firearm world. And today we're gonna to bring you five different modern firearms. Uh, not all of them are in production at this point, but they have been made in the past few years. Guys, back in the early 1900s, there were all kind of strange different guns that, that came out and were produced. But in a modern age where production is necessary and you need to at least have some you know, pretty decent sales, there are still a number of guns that kind of fall outside the box to the point where some don't even look like a gun. And we're going to be looking at the top five plus one of my most unusual handguns. Now, number one on the list, and this is random, guys. This is the Ideal Conceal cell phone gun. This is a two-shot Derringer that actually is very concealable. I mean, this can be hidden in plain sight. And to give you just an idea of the difference between your cell phone, I mean, it's actually a little bit longer on your cell phone. But it's a little bit thicker with the Ideal Conceal. And this is, again, a two-shot Derringer. It's in 380 ACP. They do make it in 9mm. And this is what I call my transformer. Just pull down the grip. It exposes the trigger. If you want to load the pistol, just bring back, open up two barrels, two shots. And so you throw in your 380 ACP, close it, and now it's ready to fire. Honestly, guys, I mean, it is very easy to shoot. I mean, the weight on this is pretty decent, and it's also in 9mm. Uh, that's a little bit more recoil, but it's a very well-made gun. I mean, it's very solid, and what's even cool, you just hit these buttons, and you can close it back up. It completely protects the trigger. Now you can get the holder, and this fits in just like a standard cell phone. Put this on your belt, and this actually kind of mimics a camera. Anyone that sees this on your belt would never think that this is actually a firearm. Here at the back, though, where the little clip is, and you'll see the rounds. You can pull this tab out, and you have extra rounds right back here in the back. And so I think that's a pretty cool thing. Again, you're only getting two rounds, so this is a very limited self-defense option. But just hit it, bring it out, open it, and you're ready to fire. I mean, to be honest with you, it's fairly quick to deploy. The sights are actually right here at the top. It's just the straight line. Uh, this is made for, you know, up close and personal, no doubt. Now, as far as practical, you know, this is just another tool in your toolbox, or it's just something fun to take to the range and for your gun buddies to say, hey, look, this is really cool. But there are some practical applications to it. And again, just hit these two buttons, close it up, and you're ready to go. Then if the range is you're loading it, of course, you just drop your grip. You can just pull that tab, load in your rounds, and then once you close it, you fire the gun and you have two different shots. And so it does give you more than just a one shot Derringer. But again, it does take some time to reload. And of course there is a little extractor on the side and you just push your shells out and then you just reload and you're ready to go again. You know, with enough practice, you can actually get pretty quick with this. Another thing about this is, is you can just whip this out. Uh, so <laughs> you just get a good solid grip on the grip and then you can pull it out and it's ready to fire. Number one on the list is the Ideal Conceal cell phone gun. And we have a full review of this pistol and I'll have it annotated right above. Next we have the Life Card. This is by Trailblazer Firearms out of Fletcher, North Carolina. It's about the size of a credit card. It's really just very compact. Of course, it's definitely thicker than a credit card. This is a single shot 22, and they do make this in 22 Magnum. And so to get things started, right here, you see these little levers. Just push it down, and it releases the grip, and you expose your trigger. Uh, to load the gun, right here, just pull up, and then you can open up the chamber, drop in a 22 round, close it up, and now cock it. Just like this. Now you're ready to fire. And then just pull the trigger, and it fires. Now, one of the cool things about this, again, is you can just put this in your back pocket. No one knows it's there. It's definitely a super deep cover option. Now, to close it, you need to just pop this back so your trigger moves forward, and then it goes right into this hole, and then you close it. And now, it's locked. 
and it doesn't expose the trigger. This can't go off in your pocket. And so it's a real easy way to just throw something in your back pocket and you're ready to go. Again, this is very limited with only one round, but it's really easy to conceal. Now here under the grip, you do have a small little compartment. You can open this up and you can keep 22 shells in here if you need extra shells. Again, it is a deep undercover James Bond type firearm. And guys, once you get used to this with the loading, I mean, it doesn't take long to be able to shoot this and to get it reloaded pretty quickly. Again, it's just a matter of being familiar with it. But it does give you one shot of 22 or 22 Magnum. And guys, that may be all you need to do to get out of the area. But it's really simple, really easy, very light recoil. And guys, again, it just open it up, load it, drop it, cock it, and you're ready to go. And so while this is not like your super high tactical, low drag, no snag type firearm, it is a lot of fun, and yet there are some practical applications. And that is the Trailblazer Firearms Life Card in 22 Long Rifle or 22 Magnum. And again, we do have a full review on this, and I'll have it annotated above. Now we're going to move up a little more to the conventional firearms, and this is the standard manufacturing switch gun. Now this is similar to a lot of the North American arms, little mini revolvers that you see, and it is a 22 long rifle. Uh, it is very similar. It's all in stainless. It has this grip. But one of the big differences is right here at this button. If you hit that button, it pops the gun out, ready to deploy. Then you just cock the hammer, and then you pull the trigger. Uh, it does hold five rounds of 22, and to load, you just drop this down, pull out your pin, and the cylinder comes right out. And so you have five shots, and so that goes above the one or two shots you're getting with the other two pistols. And then, of course, bring in, bring it down, and you're ready to go again. Now to close the grip, you actually move forward with this little lever, and then it just snaps into place. Uh, this is a really cool option. I've been carrying the North American Arms 22s for a long time and 22 Magnums. But this makes it super fast to put in your pocket, and really, you don't even know that it's a firearm. It's fairly easy to hide. And of course, easy to manipulate. Again, difficult to reload. And so taking this out, shooting it, I mean, it's just very light recoil. Very easy, but yet you have 22. And really, for up close and personal, that may be a great option, especially if you can't get to your primary self-defense firearm. Again, to me, with the five rounds, I mean, it does make this a more a viable self-defense option. The grip just pops open. I mean, it makes it really easy. Reloading again is going to be a, an issue, but man, this thing's a lot of fun. The sights are just a troughed on the top, and there's a little fiber optic rod at the front. And this is not a target gun. This is, again, for up close and personal. And I'll have the video review annotated right above. Next, we have the Chiapa Rhino. This is in 357 Magnum, so we are really taking it up about 10 notches. This is a double single action revolver. One of the keys, though, besides just the complete unorthodox, unusual look to it, is that the barrel, instead of being up high at the top of the cylinder, it's down low here at the bottom. And so your rounds are actually firing from the bottom of the cylinder, which makes it completely different than your Smith & Wesson Rugers or Colts or whatever you have. Uh, and it is a very different shooting firearm. One of the big things about this is instead of the barrel being up where you have your recoil firing like this, with it low, it comes more back in your hand. And so you have less muzzle flip. It has the flats on the cylinder, so it makes it fairly thin for a revolver. Those fiber optic sights are really excellent. And then the grip, beautiful walnut grip. One of the big things though about this pistol, and you just drop the lever to bring down your, your cylinder. And again, you can see those flats make this a very unusual shape. But the hammer is also something that's unique. So as we bring our hammer back, you'll watch the hammer. It just goes forward. And so now we're in single action mode. But for double action mode, just pull the hammer back and it fires and the hammer doesn't even move. So this could actually be fired from a jacket pocket if you have one big enough. These are made in Italy and they've been around for a number of years. And there are a lot of different models, different barrel lengths. Definitely a very unusual rhino looking pistol, thus the name. 
but in 357 Magnum, I mean, you can shoot really hot loads. And because it's coming out the bottom of the barrel, uh, it's low recoil, it's more in your hand than twisting your wrist. And really, it's a pleasure to shoot. I, I love taking this out to the range. It's just a lot of fun, but this is definitely a viable self-defense option. And if you like to carry a revolver, <laughs> this would be a great one to carry. But again, they have different finishes, different barrel lengths. I mean, there's a number of different things that Kiapa does. And I have a full review of the Kiapa Rhino, and I'll have it annotated right above. Next is the Beretta 950BS Minx. This is in 22 short. And that has a lot to do with the reason why I chose this pistol. The Beretta tip-up barrels have been around for a long time, and they're pretty unique in themselves, very high quality. Just hit this little lever, you can pop up your barrel, load in around, and then load your magazine. And so you don't have to rack the slide. And a lot of people like that. And of course, this is low pressure. This comes in a 25 auto version, but it has a shorter barrel. And it also comes in a 22 short version with the shorter barrel. But this is actually one of my favorite firearm designs. And personally, I've had it in the 25 for a number of years. And then I started collecting them. They're just very beautiful firearms. And Beretta has done a great job in finishing these. Now, these have not been in production for a number of years, the 950s. But they still make the Model 21, which is a little bit larger. Shoots 22 long rifle. Uh, it has the tip-up barrel. And those are great guns. But in 22 short, it's just one of those calibers that you're not going to carry for self-defense. Yes, it could kill someone. In fact, they used to slaughter hogs with 22 short, just right at the top of the head. But honestly, I mean, it's such an unusual thing to have that 22 short and then the extended barrel. Now, one of the funny things about these little Berettas is that they are very reliable. And so we were shooting 22 short and I was shooting CCI 22 shorts and it just functions. I mean, it just runs. And it's a lot of fun. The recoil is almost negative recoil. <laughs> it's so light to shoot. And it is very small in your hand. So, you know, if you have larger hands, it could be a little bit of a trick. But it does have that small beaver tail. And this is definitely something unusual, not only for the longer barrel, but also for the weird caliber. I mean, 22 short, there's a lot of people that hunt with that. But I don't think you're going to do a lot of hunting with the Beretta 950 Minx. The Jetfire is actually the 25 ACP version of this same pistol. To be honest, I was looking quite a long time to find one of these at a reasonable price, and I finally just bought them. These hold a premium, but they're honestly more collector items. And we have a full review, and I'll have it annotated above. Next, we have the Brass Axe by Henry Repeating Arms. <laughs> and this is a lever-action shotgun. This sawed off at the back. It has a 15.4-inch barrel. It's 26.4 inches overall length. And it weighs about five and three quarter pounds. Uh, this is definitely not necessarily just a one-handed shoot handgun, but it's definitely outside of the rifle, and it's a very unusual gun. Over the years, the mare's leg is really what this is based on, which Henry carries a number of different ones. But this is in the 410 shotgun. Uh, one of the things about 410, because of the judge and the governor from Smith and Wesson. Uh, there have been a lot of self-defense loads that have been made up for these. And so this is really just a shotgun that's fairly low recoil, and yet it's a beautiful quality firearm. The beautiful brass receiver, the American Walnut, uh, this is just a lot of fun to shoot. It is drilled and tapped, and this is solid brass, guys, and then the end cap solid brass. And then you have your steel all the way through. But this is definitely something that's very unique of a very popular design. And there have been movies at times that have been made with these, even though it's very different to shoot. Uh, but once you get that brass bead on there, I mean, you can hit targets really well. But there's something about not putting it up to your shoulder that just makes it kind of funny. But yet, it is a lot of fun. And this is a very small little compact package, something that you could stow away even in a vehicle. But when you're taking it out to the range, of course, the Henry is super smooth already. That lever action, it just gets those shells out. And of course you have your side loading gate and you have your tube fed. So it really gives you a lot of capacity for this small package. But again, it's a lot of fun to take to the range and it's a great conversation piece, but most people that see it are just curious. And for me, for the years, I've looked at these and I've just never justified it. But once I got one, I love it. Low recoil, a lot of fun. You could even put a scope on here if you wanted to. 
but then it kind of starts defeating the purpose <laughs> of a very slim trim firearm and guys again there are so many different choices there are so many different options and guys not only can you find the perfect preference for you for your concealed carry there are a lot of these firearms that can be very unique and specific for certain applications but the big thing is they can just be a lot of fun because they're unique and they're part of the firearm world it doesn't always have to be tactical sometimes it just needs to be hidden in plain sight just like this little decepticon <laughs> Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. ideas about what people think are okay. and it also comes with this pocket that's what i've been wanting to do the whole time is shoot it from the hip